An HIV epidemic in one of China's largest regions is being tackled by doctors from a world-renowned centre here in the West Midlands, specialists from the Heartlands Hospital in Birmingham. are meeting medics from China and passing on their expertise. They've come from Henan province where HIV cases are said to be going unreported and life-prolonging drugs are harder to find. Ben Godfrey reports now on a unique collaboration. <laughs> The technology may not be perfect, but no one minds. This is a first. In a video link, specialists at Heartlands Hospital are sharing experiences of HIV cases with doctors from the Sixth People's Hospital. And the room is full. Every two days, these doctors in China are diagnosing someone with HIV. It's about health promotion, getting messages out there and trying to reduce stigma. Stigma is still a huge problem in, in our country and it will be the same in China as well. Henan province is in central China and has a population of 100 million. The first cases of HIV were reported in 1995. They were infections from blood donations. The problem is shown in that the main hospital in Henan, there are 80 inpatients with infections associated with HIV. Here at Heartlands Hospital in Birmingham, the number is two. He's had acute and chronic renal failure. A high-level delegation has made the trip to Birmingham, learning how this patient from Warwickshire was diagnosed as HIV positive 18 years ago. But with a combination of drugs, the virus has been suppressed, something these visitors are hoping to see more of on their wards. Yes, there is a difference. Um, we have first line and the second line, and in comparison to the UK, we are lacking drugs. In the West Midlands, for example, one in four people who have HIV don't actually know that they've got it. And if they don't know that they've got it, they can't get life-saving treatment and they will end up in hospital. Now the same thing happens in, in Henan. With many HIV cases going unreported in China, this link-up is creating a new spirit of openness. It could also attract future financial benefits for the West Midlands, where expertise becomes a prized asset. Ben Godfrey, BBC Midlands Today, Birmingham.